What brings you here to Wood Green looking for a dog? I feel like a dog would be a more active part of our family and us like trying to make our family bigger and have something more. I think a dog would fill that space a lot more. And you kind of want a dog to look after and give attention to and, and a friend. Mum looks after it, I just use it as a sibling. Great, you got to like <laughs> yeah, companions. just have Perfect. fun with it. <laughs> Be the fun yeah. one, and then my mum does. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like being an only child? Um, quite lonely sometimes. Mm. Like, what I mostly do is pretend like I'm playing in the World Cup final or something. Hey. <laughs> That's what I do the most, which is quite sad. And fair, does mum work a lot? Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. Do you know, whenever anyone tells me that they're having a baby, like a, a woman, I always say, like, just get used to one thing, especially if they're working. You're going to feel guilty about working. You're going to feel guilty about not working. You have to step into and own guilt as just, it's part of you now. It's part of your DNA. So we, uh, we've been thinking about having a dog for quite a while. And then I found a dog on Gumtree. Oh, OK but there are a few different factors where it just didn't feel right. So okay. I pulled out and I left the guy with about 300 quid deposit. Like, oh. I wouldn't stop bringing it up because, like, that dog, I've kind of, like, fantasised, like, it was mine already and to find out I wasn't getting in the end, I was really disappointed. Yeah, it was Can a I lot ask for what you. sort of dog it was? It was a pug. A pug? pug. Yeah, oh, okay. a little black pug and we called him Rufus, didn't we? You said you wanted something small, potentially. Yeah. I wouldn't mind if it's, like, medium, small or tiny. You just want a dog, just want a dog. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just <laughs> want something to hang out with. Yeah. Okay. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah. All right, Thanks. bear with us. We'll be back. Hi, guys. Thanks. Hi. Thanks. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Can we, can we meet. play with our dogs? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bobbies, Bobbies. Looking for, looking for something smallish? Small. I'm going to give him a pile of my old clothes to sleep on. I'm going to get him a proper bed. I remember seeing a dog out recently called Casper. <laughs> yeah, Casper came in as a stray. OK, top five dogs' names, go. Rufus. Um... Gizmo comes to mind. Little pug, little black pug. <laughs> what is it? The little black pug. No. Bam Bam. Buffy. Yeah, Buffy's cute. OK, right, medical could blow this one out of the water, couldn't it? I think that's why he's been with us for 137 days. I think pugs can make really great pets. My only concern is that they come with so many health issues. Chubby and ricochet. Ricochet. Yes, yeah, so this is something Cherish is going to have to really mm -hmm. think about. The most obvious health issue is always going to be their inability to breathe. <laughs> Over the years, they have bred for shorter and shorter and shorter noses because it's what they want that dog to look like. And when you see really bad cases of that, it's heartbreaking. But if it's not so bad, then surgery can be done to improve the situation. Hello. 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 Have you found the doge? <laughs> I want a doge. <laughs> I think we found you one. And I think we found you one that's ticks just about every single box. My God, it's a pug. So, yes, Pharaoh. Yeah? You guessed it. I found you a pug. Oh, no oh, way! Oh, oh, my God! <laughs> no way! <laughs> and it's a black no pug way. as well. Oh, no. my God! <laughs> we can name it Rufus. <laughs> Oh, Wait, does it have a name? It has a name. What's already? his name? His name's Gizmo. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Seems like Gizmo wins over. Come and see it. Come and see it. He's two years old. Oh my god! No. <laughs> um, this just gets better. He was brought into us um, because his owners couldn't deal with the medical stuff. He was one of those pugs that needed an operation to help oh. open up his airway. Well done, darling. OK? Yeah. And he had that operation, but he only had it two weeks ago. OK. All right? Vero, the important thing for you to remember, interaction has got to be very gentle because he's, he's got stitches and stuff in his throat. Good. But going forward, you're going to have to become an expert on reading 
how his breathing changes and how hot and tired he gets. You've got to be the responsible big brother and say, no, mate, we're going in in the cool now. Can we meet him? <laughs> you're, just ready, you're just ready. Just yes, ready to go. I really do. <laughs> okay, okay, yes, you can go meet him. <laughs> okay, but you're excited. Like, channel your energy before you go in. Channel your energy a bit. Yeah, but no, I would do. Just right. so that you don't get him. Like, okay, you're right, right, right. right. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, here he comes, here he comes. Gizmo. I'm Natalie, this is Gizmo. Hi, Natalie. <laughs> hey, Just having a sniff. Oh, look at him. Uh, hello, say hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hello, boy. Gizmo, can you sit? Can you spin? Can you wow. <laughs> right, I'll you let are you clever. <laughs> 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 Oh, he's a bit nervous about being left, I think. Do you think, Natalie? Okay. A little bit, but it's okay. Come on. They'll do that hooning around for excitement, yeah. but sometimes it's like a displacement kind of, oh, I can't cope, what's kind going on nervous. here? Yeah, so, you know, it's nice that Cherish is thinking along those lines. He won't. Maybe. Oh. Good boy, well done. She snuck out. Oh, no! I feel so bad. I feel bad as well. Hey, kids. Come here, boy. Yeah. Come here. Oh, his little throat. Poor baby. Come here. It's all right. Is he scared me, you? Boy, it's all right. He's yeah. scaring me because I think he's going to burn himself. I up. know. Come and have some water, Gizmo. Fair has really channeled his his like excitement into just making yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. So he's a caring Gizmo's boy. Yeah. Yeah. Really caring boy. Hello. Hiya, Natalie. How'd it go? I feel like he's getting there. Um, yeah, do you want to go for a walk? <laughs> yeah, that'll be yeah? nice. Okay. He's friendly and he listens, even though he's only been around me for like five minutes. <laughs> he's a fast walker. <laughs> I think that them two are going to get along quite well if we do take him home. For me, it felt like a really big decision because once I'd heard about quite a lot of his health problems, I kind of just had like this gut-wrenching sort of anxiety. Oh my God, can I cope with this? Will, will he be okay? You're worried about the level of responsibility that you're taking on with a dog that's recovering from an <laughs> operation. But then I think you're kind of just as well excited about that opportunity to give something another lease of life. This way. We decided to get it. His breathing has really improved massively. There you go. He likes going for really long walks. No, 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 no. Takes a lot to tire him out. No, 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 no. I think Pharaoh feels like he's got a little dog brother. Got him. And he takes that responsibility, like, really deeply. 